Does this file look familiar to you? I'm sure it does. But do you know how powerful it really is? Let's find out in this video. In the last video, we talked about what Tailwind CSS is and why you might choose it over traditional CSS. I also asked you to install Tailwind CSS. If you did, you probably noticed that a file called tailwind.config.js was generated during the installation and you might have added paths to the content section of it. But there is so much more you can do with this file. Tailwind CSS allows you to configure almost everything it offers. And this configuration file is the key to unlocking its full potential. When you first install Tailwind, you likely use this command. But did you know that by adding double flag full, you can generate a configuration file that includes every single utility Tailwind offers? This creates a comprehensive configuration file where you can modify the defaults of any utility class. I want you to understand how much you can customize, but I advise against tweaking too much unless you are confident in what you are doing. Over customization can spoil the consistent design and it might become overwhelming for you to manage. There are simpler ways to configure Tailwind CSS without disturbing the defaults. One of the most common ways is to extend Tailwind's default theme. Imagine you are working on a project for a client and they have specific brand colors. You can easily add these custom colors to your project like this. And now you can use these colors anywhere in your project. Tailwind CSS has a lot of plugins that can make your life easier. For example, if you want to improve typography on your site without manually styling the tags, you can add a typography plugin like this. This adds advanced typographic styles and you can use it right away with pros class. Configuring Tailwind CSS might seem a bit overwhelming at first, but once you get used to it, it becomes an incredibly powerful tool. We haven't even finished with the basics yet. There is so much more you can do with this configuration file. But I hope you now have a good idea of what it is, what it's useful for and what you can do with it. In the coming videos, we will cover the most commonly used Tailwind utilities. These utilities are carefully structured and picked from my practical experience and general usage, ensuring that we cover the scenarios you are most likely to encounter while building a website. I'm really excited to help you master Tailwind CSS. See you in the next video.